Pneumomediastinum is pneumatosis in the mediastinum. First described in 1819 by René Lenick, the condition can result from physical trauma or other situations that lead to air escaping from the lungs, airways, or bowel into the chest cavity. Presentation Pneumomediastinum is uncommon and occurs when air leaks into the mediastinum. The diagnosis can be confirmed via chest X-ray showing a radiolucent outline around the heart and mediastinum or via CT scanning of the thorax. Etiology It is most commonly caused by esophageal rupture, for example in Boerhaave syndrome, asthma or other conditions leading to alveolar rupture bowel rupture, where air in the abdominal cavity tracts up into the chest. It has also been associated with mycoplasma pneumoniae and pneumonia, obesity. It can be induced to assist thoracoscopic surgery. It can be caused by a pulmonary barotrauma resulting when a person moves to or from a higher pressure environment, such as when a scuba diver, a free diver or an airplane passenger ascends or descends. Pneumomediastinum is most commonly seen in otherwise healthy young male patients and may not be prefaced by a relevant medical history of similar ailments, signs and symptoms. The main symptom is usually severe central chest pain. Other symptoms include labored breathing, voice distortion and subcutaneous emphysema, specifically affecting the face, neck and chest. Pneumomediastinum can also be characterized by the shortness of breath that is typical of a respiratory system problem. It is often recognized on auscultation by crunching, sound timed with the cardiac cycle. Pneumomediastinum may also present with symptoms mimicking cardiac tamponade as a result of the increased intrapulmonary pressure on venous flow to the heart treatment. The tissues in the mediastinum will slowly resorb the air in the cavity so most pneumomediastinums are treated conservatively. Breathing high flow oxygen will increase the absorption of the air. If the air is under pressure and compressing the heart, a needle may be inserted into the cavity, releasing the air. Surgery may be needed to repair the hole in the trachea, esophagus or bowel. If there is lung collapse, it is imperative the affected individual lies on the side of the collapse, although painful. This allows full inflation of the unaffected lung.